Hello again, everybody. Welcome to this series of educational videos covering the Cocos Reaper digital audio workstation. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the basics of track effects in Reaper. <clears throat> the uh, track effects of a format of VST or DirectX, as well as VSTi and DXi, can be added to any track. We simply pick a track. Let's uh, listen here. We've got a vocal track up here. We'll solo it. And in order to add an effect, you simply click the effects button on that track. And you will see a list of the stuff that is currently on your system. And as we can see, we've got a, a list here um, of stuff that's on my system. But one of the interesting things is that there's a really good selection of track effects that are supplied with Reaper, including the Cocos effects and the Jesus Sonic multi effects unit. Um, anything that starts with JS is a Jesus Sonic patch. Okay, and as you can see, there are quite a few of these here. Um, there are also VS under VST, if you see a list of where are they here? Here. Um, these uh, VSTs are uh, they come with um, come with Reaper. You can tell that they are Reaper uh, effects because they start with the R E A prefix. So you've got recomp, re EQ, refer, regate, reinsert, uh, restream, reninjam, <coughs> reverb, etc. Let's pick a uh, Reaper reverb and show how we simply add this to the vocal track. So we'll just go ahead and double click that. We'll select a loop, get a, a loop selection here going. Go ahead and hit play. Sleep, my child, and peace. And let's see what we can do to add some reverb here. The night. God. Sleep, my child, and peace attend thee all through the night. God. I'm not actually finding any uh, actual reverb controls here. We do have the pre-reverb uh, setting here, which basically adds a delay, a pre-delay, to compensate for long delay. But let's leave that alone for now. Sleep, my child, and peace attend thee. There we go. The reverb plugin I had forgotten for a minute contains generator, uh, uh, various generator presets that allow you a huge amount of variability and flexibility in how you actually generate the reverb. So you can actually generate reverb using a reverb generator, or you can put on a reverse generator. And I'd be lying if I told you 100% what I knew what was going on here. But as you can tell, you can have a whole lot of fun playing around with the various... Now we're actually going to reverb the reverb. And things get very weird very quickly. But in a uh, controllable and fun way. So there's some basics on... Uh, using uh, effects on tracks in Reaper. Please watch GearWire.com in the future for more videos, and keep it on GearWire.com. Thanks a lot.